Почетувани гледачи, како и секогаш на самиот почеток, ви најавивме дека имаме и двајца гости во нашето студио. With us in the studio today are Edith George and Randy Hutton. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to start first with you, Edith. Absolutely. You are the first generation Canadian Macedonian, born in Toronto. Correct. Your original family name was? Voinov. Voinov. And we are all very much aware of it. Your origins are from Zelevo Lirinsko. Yes. And uh, you are an advisor to the non-profit organization, Ontario Urban Forest Council. That's correct. Founded in 1963, if I'm correct. Yes, that's right. right. And you're the past director on the board of the Western Historical Society. Yes, I am. Very good. But first, we're going to start with your grandfather, Ilya George. Yes. Um, per my understanding, he purchased the original cross for St. Clement of Ulchrit. Mm -hmm. and also funded the first altar. Yes. Tell us more about your grandfather. Well, my grandfather was very much a true blue Macedonian. Um, he was a philanthropic volunteer. He gave potty money to the church. He helped uh, find Jelovo Hall. He did various acting gigs at Jelovo Hall, and he used to sing. Um, he taught me about the land, about planting, and about how important trees are. By all means. Also, I've heard that um, he was in the famous Macedonian play, Makedonska Krvava Svadba. Yes, he just had a passion for acting, absolutely loved it. Randy, as well, you're a first generation Canadian Macedonian. That's you're right. born in Toronto, 1966. That's right. And from my understanding, you're a renowned Canadian actor and a musician. I try the best I can. Of course. <laughs> Your grandfather was a great singer who sang Macedonian um, songs. And from uh, what I've heard, you definitely follow in your grandfather's footsteps. I think I'm channeling his energy into my, my works today. I Amazing. I can. Edith. Yes. Your greatest passion other than the Macedonian heritage is your love of heritage trees. Uh, we spoke and I understand that you have more than 150 presentations across the province That's of correct. Ontario. Tell us more about it. Well, trees are the largest plants on earth. And without them, what are we gonna breathe? We won't have oxygen. They, they breathe out oxygen and they breathe in carbon dioxide. But heritage trees, these trees are survivors. They've survived the, the toxins in the air, water, and soil, soil. They're hundreds of years old and they're jivi, they're alive, they're part of our natural history. And the stories that they could tell about the countries where they live, but they can't speak. So what I do with a special red oak in my neighborhood, I speak for it and I travel the province, as you said, and I tell its story. And it is the most important heritage tree in Canada. And it has a couple of Macedonian links as well. Tell us more about it. I want to well, hear. Well, two of the families that owned the property, one of them was the Gardner family, Percy Gardner. Two of his brothers were doctors. Dr. George Gardner, he was a junction doctor. Mm -hmm. And he was, a, um, he was a, a, a GP for the um, people, the Macedonians that lived in the junction, especially Mulock Street, where the Bundas lived and the Georges lived. And he saved my father when he was 12, when his appendix erupted, he got him to the hospital. And when my teta Florence was ill, she had rheumatic fever, he found a special medicine that had just come out. He gave her the needle, he, he saved her, and that was penicillin. And the other family that owned it, the Krangs, at Oakwood in St. Clair, was a huge swimming pool, Oakwood pool. All the Macedonians, everybody would go there. And my dedo rented a little grill called uh, Lou's Grill, and he, he sold hamburgs and hot dogs and pops to the swimmers. And he did that while my dad was overseas. My grandfather had to support his three daughters, his wife, his dedo and his father and mother, and Mr. Crane gave him a job while my dad was overseas in World War II. What a story. Now, Edith, tell us about a heritage tree. What is a heritage tree and why should we protect them? Well, as I said before, it's part of our natural history. We can use the seeds 
to propagate their species. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact they've survived, they give them gives a, give us hope for a planet that's dying, and they've truly earned the right to live. You've got to respect these significant trees. By all means. Now, Randy, I would like to know more about your acting and music career. Oh, well, it was, uh, it was actually a link to Edith back then. She worked with a, a friend of hers who was a director back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, she actually had an actor that had backed out of a role that she was putting a film together. And she, uh, Edith immediately gave her my number and says, you have to call my cousin Randy. He will do it. So uh, I met with her and we sat down, had a coffee, and, uh, and then as the conversation was finished, she shook my hand and she handed me a script and I was off and away I went. So I ended up doing three films with her, two feature length films and one short with her. Can you tell us the name of the uh, films? The three films, uh, first film was I Always Come to You, mm -hmm. and then the, the other short film was um, A Dan. Randy, regarding your musical career, you performed at the 2017 Invictus Games. That's How right. was that experience? It was uh, very honoring. Um, I had an email that it came through about uh, asking a bands to perform at the actually the opening of the Invictus Games, but uh, we put our promo pack, sent them to them, and then a couple of days later, she sent it back to me. She says, we actually saw your promo video and we think you guys would be great for the closing ceremony. So right after everyone was finished at the ACC, all the, all the um, athletes came into the, into the hall and they had just had the fantastic time and we, went all night with everything and even when the lights came on they wanted they cheered us on for two full encores and it was just honoring to see all these veterans that serve our country and all countries around the world and they just had such a great time and then two weeks later the head of the Invictus Games he contacted us again he said I want you to perform again you guys did such a great job I want you to perform for all the volunteers at the 2017 Invictus Games mm -hmm. volunteers and there was 1800 people at that event too so they had a, a fantastic time. It, it, yeah. it has to be. It now, is. you're mentioning a band. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it. Well, back in, I've been in bands since I was 17, and uh, this band I actually formed with another gentleman, mine, a friend of mine mm -hmm. from Bolton, and uh, we started that in 2000. It was at the same time as I did my acting career, um, and then we just kept going. So this band has been going for 18, almost 17, 18 years now. And the name of the band is? Is Your New Neighbors. Your New Neighbors. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It's, well, it's, it's fun. I really enjoy it and it, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it because it's, it's a very, the, the music industry is a very hard business right. to be in. And if you, if you enjoy it and it's in your heart and you love it and what kind of music do you play, guys? Uh, we do more like uh, like top forty rock, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, rock okay. covers, like you know, any any and then current songs too. Like we do more dance current songs, stuff like that. But more of the top pop forty rock songs. And if we want to hear you, your music and the band, where we can find you guys? You can find me on uh, yourneighbors.com or .net or mm -hmm. .ca. We're all on there. You'll find us. You just click in your neighbors on the internet. We come up. That's Perfect. us. And we can follow you wherever you're. You can performing. follow. You can follow us on there. It shows where all the all the events where we're playing. And yeah, come and see us. You'll be uh, you'll Here be you. happy. Perfect. Now, Edith, you're also an online monthly columnist yes. for the Metro Land Media. That's correct. Tell me more about it. What well, do you write about? I, I have a counterpart who happens to write about. Built Heritage, the houses. So I was offer, offered this gig writing two and a half years ago, and it's not being paid. And I go all over Toronto, which is the city where I was born and where I live, and I write about the old trees or why people have a passion for their special tree, and I write their stories. That's very good. April 22nd, 2017, this year, yes. was an Earth Day. That is correct. Tell us about the ceremony where Macedonian flag was involved? Well, <clears throat> we set up with the Community Police Liaison, 12th Division, under their, their banner, and we worked together because one of two of the trees that is in my neighborhood had to be cut down. So what better way 
of celebrating Canada 150 and, and Tiro's 150, but carve pieces of that wood and put it all over the community. Mm -hmm. So we had a big Canadian flag, and I found out where everyone's origin was, what country they came from to make Canada their home. So we made little flags. And being Macedonian and the fact that I was on that committee, I knew that that Macedonian flag had to be the first one and then all the other ones following. Then the big Canadian uh, flag is in the background. Oh, I have to congratulate you for that. <laughs> there you go, girl. <laughs> now, Sonia Day. Yes. Uh, she's a columnist from the Toronto Star newspaper. Chose you as the environmental activist of 2016 for your tireless efforts in protecting Toronto's old tree. Congratulations. Thank you. It was you quite an honor. You must be very proud. I was very honored. Of course. Yeah. We, we, we all are. And, and a few months later, Mark Cullen, who is a Canadian gardening guru, and he's mm -hmm. a member of the Order of Canada, he ended up uh, mentioning in his column that I, I'm a friend of his. But the whole thing is, I never knew I was his friend till I saw it in writing. Right. This is a question for both of you. Okay. okay. Are you proud of your Macedonian heritage? Of course, yeah. yeah, of course. It makes, it may, I, I've gone back twice to Jalavo, and every time I come back, I understand why they came to the greatest country in the world. And, um, but always remember your culture, always remember where you came from. Always remember your roots, always. That's a fact. Now our viewers are now looking at photos of your grandfather, who performed at the Macedonian Community Hall in Toronto, which was called Jalavo Hall. Uh, quick, maybe a little short story about those performances. Do you remember it? Well, I remember one performance he, he did, and I do remember that he got right into role, and uh, he was, uh, played a vicious part, and he literally slapped this woman, and she flew across, she literally flew across the stage, and he was in role. He just forgot it. He was just in the role. Mm-hmm. Now, thank you so much for being in our studio today. And at the end of this today's interviews, we're going to take a look at Randy's performing. Okay. Great. Proud to do thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks, thank you. Maya. And you know kind of what it's like Cause you found me on the ground again And you know that I've been And I know kind of what it's like Cause you found me on the ground again And you're more than a friend And you know what I Ah 